Don't kill yourself. You should get a pole, Connor. There's enough in here for both of us.
to us. Eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bail when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down. The heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full piece, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina.
Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... 
to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I will cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Excellent! We are right on course! What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Go right, Connor! To the right, Connor! To the right! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot.
This is it. You have got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. Uh, Connor? Wouldn't surprise me if we ran into more trouble. Stay alert. I believe we are on course. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. I believe we are on course. To the left, Connor! Be on the lookout for redcoats. Hmm. This is not right. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. Does any of this look familiar to you, Connor? Go left up here. Be on the lookout for redcoats. Keep going! Left! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Excellent! We are right on course! Yes! This is it! This is the way! We will never finish in time if we go by foot! Wouldn't surprise me if we ran into more trouble. Stay alert. To the right, Connor! To the right! I believe we are on course. I believe we are on course. We have gotten lost somehow! To the left, Connor! Be on the lookout for redcoats. To the left, Connor! If we're discovered, we're ruined. Find cover! This way, Connor! Left! 
Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Oh, bother. Everything looks the same at night. Quick, hide! To the right! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Yes! This is exactly where we need to be! Here we are! Best to continue on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! I believe we are... Excellent! We are right on course! I believe we are on course! Go right, Connor! us yes this is exactly where we need to be here we are best to continue on foot this is it you have got the right place The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! We need to lose them. Connor. Way 
to get rid of them, Connor. Faster! We need to get away from them. We need to lose them. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Left! Keep going! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Go left up here. Go right, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. See you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. You damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Ravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, Orna. Return fire! Return fire! 
You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Wait for the signal. signal. Fire now! Prepare yourself. Hold fire! Shoot! Wait for my signal. 
Wait for the signal. Fire! Wait for the signal. Open fire. Prepare yourselves. Shoot! Prepare yourselves. Hold fire! Fire now! Make ready! Make ready! Open fire! Prepare yourselves! Open fire. Prepare yourselves. Wait for the sick fire now. Wait for the signal. Wait for my signal. yourselves old fire fire wait for the signal It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Mm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with.
Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited to the task. To really? Congress. That I can no think of several. Charles Lee. This arduous employment Do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those like that, I but doubt not, they the last thing we need is the that two is of you coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander-in-chief. George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. I'm not a man to forget what's with me, I assure you. But he's a good lad. Be patient. Still here, are you? I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. 